and welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 4. I should go to bed. So yeah, in between episodes, I just did a little bit of grinding for uh, materials and levels. Good morning. But anyways, today is a contest. I forget exactly which contest it is. Isn't that the fish variety? Yep, fish variety. So we're going fishing later. Also, it's not that cold. It's only the 15th of fall. We have plenty of time till winter. You're not Volcanon. Okay, random level 1 soldier. Where the hell is he? There he is. But yep, today we're going fishing. We need to catch as many different types of fish as possible. Uh, sure, we'll just quickly go over the rules then. But yeah, it doesn't matter how big or what kind, they all just have to be different. So yeah, we're going to be traveling around to different rivers today, trying to catch as many fish as possible. And it starts at 11, I believe. Because, yeah, usually they start at 11. Yep, we'll have to come back at 11 then. Also, where were you running in your... Wait, weren't you just dressed a few minutes ago? When did you change into your pajamas? Well, whatever. Before we do anything, though, I'm going to take care of the fields. Oh, actually, I think most of my monsters are tired today, aren't they? Uh, let me see. Is anyone working at the moment? No, no one's working at the moment. Because, yeah, everyone's kind of tired. Alright, let's get everyone who isn't tired to work, then. Am I missing a monster? Oh, no, there he is. Alright, go ahead and just work on any of the fields. So we'll let them take care of all the plant or not the planting, all the watering and stuff. I also want to do some crafting today. We're gonna probably craft ourselves like an entire not an entire set of equipment, but I did grab a ton of materials I could use to craft with. That I'm gonna be taking advantage of. But we'll get to that later. Most of the stuff is probably from like the first few areas of Rune Prana. Mostly just grinding a couple of the enemies in the opening areas. Also, yeah, let me just put a few things away. My inventory's full. Again. We don't need the boots anymore, because I want to make myself a new pair of boots. Uh, I'm going to put all this stuff away. Oh, am I out Oh, I am out of storage space, actually. Okay, yeah, I need to start dumping some of this stuff. Honestly, we don't need these cans. I have no idea why I'm keeping them. Yeah, I am completely out of space in here. Okay, let's just start cleaning this stuff out. Uh, I'm gonna start throwing away some of this old equipment I don't need. I really don't know why I'm keeping so much equipment. The Platinum Mail I'm actually gonna keep and try to give away to someone. Uh, that Iron Shield I'm grinding with at the moment. Okay, that should do for now then. And we'll just dump everything else in the, the uh, shipping bin. Looks like nothing's ready to be harvested yet, though, so not a ton of money coming in at the moment. I'm still trying to save up for that, uh, field upgrade, though. Okay, so yeah, let's just dump these. I don't really need this many eggs. Oh, I need to also make myself some milk porridge for Dianus later. And then let's dump all these swords I don't need anymore. Perfect. Yeah, there's nothing really ready to be harvested today. Been a while since that's happened. Oh, right, you guys are tired. Ah, uh, I'll give you guys a break after today. Okay. But yeah, we still have a little bit of time. Let's do a bit of crafting then. So the first thing I want to do is upgrade my armor. Right now, we can't take very many hits in the Rune Prana 2. First thing I want to do though, make new shoes. I got all the materials I need for feather boots. So let's do it. So yeah, these are pretty easy to get. Or Calcum's just mined anywhere in a Rune Prana. Those are from the big chickens. That's mined from anywhere with a good hammer. That's a vine. We have a ton of those. And then those are just dropped by the ducks in Rune Prana too. And then yeah, I think I have plenty of seeds, don't I? Yep, level 10 seeds. So let's try to get the defense as high as possible. Unfortunately with boots, we can't really pass on the stats to other boots like we can with weapons. I think we can do that with armor, but not with, like, boots and accessories and stuff. Which is a shame, but oh well. Every little be bit of defense helps, so let's just start stacking seeds. We should be able to get a pretty good uh, stat boost from these. 
And then I think I want to see if I can make myself some new armor. I think I got the materials for that. I really hope I got the materials for that. Also, I think I'm running out of seeds. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough seeds to craft a bunch of other stuff either. Oh well. That is fine. Alright, uh, if I put one more on... No, it's not gonna make a difference. Okay, we'll save it then. But yeah, new shoes. Now I don't have to worry about slipping all over the place, and I can take a few more hits now. Uh, I am gonna pass down my old shoes to probably Dylas, though. Alright, so next thing I want to make is some armor. I did get the materials, I, th I thought I got the materials for one of these. Oh no, that's right, I need to find myself another big bird's comb, which is easy. That's where all the giant chickens are. And then I need to go beat up the third boss for a while to get these. Okay. But we'll worry about that later then. I also want to make myself some new gloves. Because I did get the materials I needed for a new pair of gloves. I can make myself a... I need to find more Orichalcumin feathers. And another bird... Okay, yeah, I have a... need a ton of bird combs. Okay, but yeah, I can get these materials relatively easily. But I do want the cat punch, because at base it has higher attack than what I have on right now. And then if we upgrade that to absurd levels, we should be okay for the next couple of levels for Rune Prana. Okay. Well, we still have time to kill. Let's go uh, fight some monsters. Oh, actually, no, before we do that, let me do a bit of cooking. But yeah, Rune Prana is a place where you pretty much have to constantly be upgrading your weapons. Unless you have something absurd. Which at this point isn't too far off from what I've been doing. Alright, I'll- oh, I think I'm out of milk. I need to go collect some milk. Oh, wait, what the- oh, green is- Green is inside the tree. Oh, no, she's out now. She kind of blended in so well with the tree I didn't even see her. Uh, I was gonna get myself some oranges to ship, but I don't think I can pick them with her standing there. And I don't want to move her at the moment, so she'll be fine. And yeah, I need to build myself another monster barn. Okay. No, wait, no, I have room for one more monster in here, I believe. Yeah, I have room for one more monster. I forget what I need to... Uh, what is it? Recruit Marietta. Marionetta, whatever she's called. I think for Leon's boss, we just need, like, good juice or something. We'll see. Also, yeah, if you're wondering, Dionysus is probably our biggest competitor for this contest. Speaking of Dionysus... Here you go, buddy. Anyways... I love you. Oh my god. Am I doing something wrong here? This should have worked a while ago. I am just getting super unlucky, apparently. Either that or Dynamis just has a higher tolerance for love? I have no idea. Good morning. That would be interesting, though, if you, like, gave them armor that made them weak to the love element. It would be easier to love them, or to uh, befriend them. Who knows, maybe that's true. Probably not. I'm just making that off, up off the uh, top of my head. Anyways, I'm gonna go beat up a puppet for a while. Don't mind me. Nope. But yeah, same exact trick works with uh, Typhon as does with any boss. As long as you leave the room before the gates despawn, the boss will respawn infinitely. So we can just take advantage of this to keep grinding until we get the drop we want. It only takes like two or three hits to kill her. I'm waiting for it. Waiting for it. Nope. She does drop the puppet tr uh, strings, right? She should. Well, if I don't get it in the next like, couple of tries, I'll probably just grind it off screen. I also need to grab some uh, good insect care paste anyways to make good gloves. Come on. Just drop what I want. Drop it. Drop it. Nope. Yeah, let's try one more time. If I don't get it this time, I'll move on. Oh, hey, treasure! Oh, hey, treasure! That is a bunch of... St I think I... Get out of my way. 
I think I accidentally gave away my sword. Whoops. That is, a. Uh... Huh. I forget how good these weapons are. Here we go. These weapons are actually pretty deep. Oh my god. These, uh, these weapons are actually pretty good. Those swords are almost as good as the gloves I have on right now. Just at base level. Actually, wait, what level are these? Five. Huh. I have an idea. Oh wait, no, fire and water. I'll have to double check, but that might not be a bad weapon to start using from now on. Huh. We could switch to dual blades for a while. But no, I need to double check to make sure that there aren't like a ton of bosses immune to water and wind. Or not water and wind, water and uh, fire. I know there are bosses immune to wind. And earth. But I'll need to double check water and fire in that case. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do this later. I'll do it off screen. Uh, let's see, next stop would be, what do we, else do we need? We need yellow feathers. So to get yellow feathers, we just need to go beat up some birds. And by some birds, I mean a duck. A single really big duck that always spawns right here. He still hurts, even with my new, uh, where are they? Boots. Then again, these boots aren't that massive of an upgrade. Ooh, yeah, he still hurts. I need to upgrade my armor, too. I also need really good insect carapace if I'm gonna do that, though. And grinding up good insect carapace is kind of a pain, because I have really bad luck with it. Also, we move slightly slower now. That's okay. Actually, that might not be so good in this area. Actually, it's better than tripping, though, all the time, trying to get through those, like, trap rooms. Oh, there we go. That was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Normally, he drops yellow down. Or maybe I just got really lucky for once. Ah, uh, we still have a little bit of time until 11. So I'm gonna go beat up some chickens real quick. See if I can get myself a good big comb. Also, we could grab some free fodder here, too. Eh, white feather I don't really need. Fortunately, Mama Doodles are everywhere around here, so it's not exactly hard to find them. And they go down really quickly anyways. Oh, hey, got level. Oh, hey, you survived. Huh. Good job. Oh, it's already 11. Okay, let's get back. We want as much time as possible for this contest. Whoa. Okay, we're good. Uh, I'll come back later and grind those off screen then. Anyways, time to do some fishing. So yeah, we just need to come back between uh, 5 and 6. And yes, we won't participate. Alright, let's go fishing. So we just need to catch as many types of fish as possible. Which means that if we want to catch as many fish, we have to go to different areas of the world. So we're going to pretty much be stopping by every single river around here. Also, yeah, I should empty my inventory before I do this, actually. Because inventory is going to be a problem when I'm catching this many types of fish. Come on, bite up, bite down. I forget exactly how many fish per area there are. Oh, we should also make sure we go stop by that sand area, too, to get those fish. Alright, so that's one. I'm just gonna toss them back, to be honest. I don't need to keep them. I could keep them to cook with, but... Meh. I got myself a pike. Get back in there. This is susta uh, sustainable fishing. We don't want to empty out the entire pond. Actually, we might want to empty out the entire pond. So that no one else can fish here and we win by default. Actually, yeah, where is everyone? Shouldn't they be, you know, fishing right now? Also, my inventory is full. Great. Yeah, in that case, I guess we're just going to be dumping everything we find. Actually, no. If we're going to be doing this, I should empty my inventory in case we get something good. Alright, after this fish, I will... Oop. Missed that one. Here, let me empty out all those, like, horrible dishes in my inventory. I kind of forgot I was carrying so many. I'm kind of surprised we still have so many left. I thought I went through them all. Guess not. Also, is that staff any good? No, that staff is horrible. Never mind. I do want to make myself a good staff at some point, though. Whoops. Simply due to the fact that magic is helpful, and staffs are good with magic. Anyways, while we're here, let's try a different area for a while. Uh, let's go to one of the rivers. Actually, let's go to the lake. 
Actually, what season is this one? I kind of wasn't paying attention. This is spring? I forget what exactly fish these are. I kind of skipped through the text too quickly. But I think these are spring fish. Obviously, the one-year town would be uh, fall fish because it's fall right now. Oh, yeah, Mason Trout. Back in you go. But yeah, theoretically, we can catch some pretty rare materials by fishing. It's kind of a really low chance, though, especially when my fishing skill is this bad. Also, there's no one near here. One second. Let's respawn the fish. But yeah, my fishing skill, not very good. I forget what level my fishing rod is, though. Alright, that's five fish. Also, yeah, I forgot to look up exactly how many fish we need to win. It's probably going to be a lot. And we still have a couple of hours to do it. So we've had five so far. I'm going to try catching one more fish here and then we'll move on. Or not. Let's try catching one more fish and then we'll move on. Okay, no, we caught that. Okay, yeah, let's move on for now. We don't have time to keep trying in uh, the same area. Uh, let's go to the Summer River, which is this one? Yeah, that's Summer. I think it's in order of seasons in the uh, menu there. Alright, come on. Get on. Get on. I don't have time to wait for you, stupid fish. We need to beat up Di Not beat up Dionysus, but we need to beat Dionysus so he'll fall in love with us. That's not how even remotely how this is going to work, but... Come on, maybe that's why he won't accept my love confession. Because I'm not good enough at fishing yet. Does this count? No, it doesn't count. Darn it. Boots are totally fish, right? They're not fish. Also, where'd all the fish go? There they are. Come on, bite down. Good fish. Alright, so that's seven fish. Uh, I think we can catch like one or two more types of fish here. Let's try dra let's keep going until we get like a duplicate. And then we'll move on to winter. And then we'll probably go to that sand area too. Although that area is kind of hard to fish for me. I don't know why. I'm just really bad at picking up, uh, what is it? When they bite down in that area. Like it's pretty obvious when they bite down compared to other areas, but that might be why. I'm trying to look for like the big bite thing on the actual bobber. Okay, yeah, it's a duplicate. Let's move on. We are going to uh, the winter area now. We have, like, what, two more hours? Yeah, about two more hours. All right, we are heading to, uh, where's the winter area? Silver Lake, right? Yep, winter fish. Man, we haven't really uh, explored this area that much. Mostly because we kind of only been here, like, for, what, ten episodes ago? Because I completely forgot to come here earlier. Wait. Oh, no. That's an overlapping fish. Okay. Come on. Give me some exclusive winter fish, please. I'm going to fish for, like, another hour here, and then we'll move on to the sand area. I don't think the sand fishing area is affected by season. But I don't think we can directly warp there, can we? Oh, hey, pond smelt. Back in you go. Or we could stick here. Like I said, I'm just gonna keep going until I get another duplicate. Okay, yeah, we're getting duplicates. I guess there aren't as many uh, what is it, winter fish as I thought there would be. All right, so let's head over to... Can we just go directly there? No, I have to walk there, okay. Uh, closest point would probably be this one. Yeah, this is the closest way to get there. Let's do a bit of sand fishing and then we'll head back. So what, we've caught like eight or nine types of fish? Not bad. Come on, you know you'll want it. Come on. Come on, bite down. Nope, ah. Uh, yeah, like I said, sometimes it's hard to tell if they're biting down or not. 
We probably only have time to catch, like, one fish. Actually, it might not even count if they don't bite down, like, immediately. It was a boot. Great. Alright, fine. We'll head back. Alright, I don't think anything we catch from now on will count. It only counts until about five. Oh, so skill up! From something. Alright, so third place was... Oh! I think we beat him. I think we beat Dylas. I think we only got second, though. Oh, no, wait, what? No, did we not place? I thought I caught, like, eight. Or did I miscount? Did we actually win? Oh, I caught ten. Why do you think I caught eight? Yay! But yeah, that we won. Good job. I'm honestly kind of surprised considering how many boots we caught. We meet again? Awesome. Alright, so what do we get as a prize? We got a Claymore. Great. <laughs> Wait, is this Claymore any good? No. It sucks. It's actually completely horrible. Uh... You want it? I do not need that. Also, I'm just gonna eat this. Extra health is always good, even if it's only like 10 HP. And then cooking bread. We can make fondue. We can make a uh, miso eggplant. That doesn't sound too bad. We can make French toast. That's actually pretty good. We can make a uh, grilled flounder. We can make absolutely nothing else. Okay. Alright, pretty good day today then. Still surprised we actually won that. Alright, so the next holiday is not going to be until uh, the 19th. That's a handicraft festival. Or handicap handicraft contest. So that should be fun. For now though, uh, let's do a little bit of monster hunting before we head out for the day. Whoops. I'm not that busy. Yes, I am. I'm actually pretty busy nowadays. Who else is around right now? No one. Yeah, all the stores are gonna be closed. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I think the general store is closed, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot to buy seeds. Oh, well, I'll grab them tomorrow morning then. Yeah, I'm not buying anything from you ever again. I can make stuff that's like 10 times better than what you sell in my sleep. Also, Corica, is that a love potion? Yes. What are you gonna do with that? Anyways, I still don't think we can pick up any of these, unfortunately. Actually, we could pick up the apple ones. Uh, friendship level. Actually, who do we still need to work with in terms of friendship? I really should be concentrating more on my friendship meter. A couple people, actually. Especially Baldo. We have not really done much with Baldo. Actually, yeah, everyone's not too far away from 5. Doug is always stuck at 3 until you finish R2, so he's always going to be kind of low. Alright, so how many more apples do I need to uh, pick? We need to pick 39 more apples. Okay, we'll hold on to that for now then. If something else comes up that I can do, I'll just drop it. Alright, but yeah, let's go uh, hunt down a couple of monsters for materials. So the first thing I need is, uh, what is it? The big combs. I'm gonna need at least one of those. So, time to go fight some more chickens. Also, yeah, I have so much junk in my inventory now from all the stuff I picked up today. Where are my gloves? Actually, no, let's work on our, uh, dual blade skill for a while. Yeah, it's not as good as our gloves, but it still works. We can lose access to throwing, but dual blades tend to attack more often anyway. So we're not going to be relying too much on throwing more, just straight up attacking from now on with swords. That is if I decide to use these. Like I said, I need to see if I can, you know, oops, if I can actually fight with these in Rune Prana, because I don't want to have to switch weapons all the time if I have to fight something immune to water and wind, not water and wind, water and wa uh, fire. For some reason, I couldn't think of the second element on these. It's fire water. Okay. 
Actually, I don't even know what the base stats on these things are. They could have been uh, boosted up with whatever materials they put on. Actually, yeah, one second. Let's find out what materials are on these uh, weapons. Where is... what's his face? There he is. Hey, Barrett. So, uh, could you take a look at these dual blades I found? Minimizer? R what the heck did they put on this thing? Okay, so yeah, never mind. I was gonna say maybe they put some really good attack up materials on it, but no, all that stuff is garbage. Like, actual gar- they put cheese bread in it. That sounds delicious, but useless. Alright. Well, good enough. Anyways, uh, with that though, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. So, in between episodes, I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding for the materials I need. Probably gonna try to get them tonight. And then after that, we'll forge up some new equipment, and then we'll head back to Rune Prana for a while. See how far we can get with the new equipment. Also, yeah, I'm gonna double check if these, uh, swords are actually usable on Rune Prana. I wanna say they should be okay, but I, like I said, I'm gonna double check. So, till then.